Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the start of a new revision series over here on my channel, the water cycle and water insecurity. Today we're going to be looking at a world of extremes and this is the first episode in the series. Subscribe down below so that you don't miss the rest of them and without further ado let's just get straight on to it. Not in living memory. On the 6th of December 2015, Malham Cove in the Pennines of North Yorkshire became Britain's highest waterfall. Surface runoff poured over the edge of an 80 high metre cliff face. It's hard to know when this event last happened because Malham is a, lives, is a limestone county and limestone is a permeable rock, so normally there's no surface water. In limestone areas such as Malham, surface water goes underground and percolates through underground bedding plains and joints. It then runs along the impermeable rock underneath before re-emerging as a stream such as the one at the foot of Malham Cove. However, by the 6th of December, heavy rain from Storm Desmond had saturated the limestone, causing a surface stream and a water to fall to form. The dry valley leading to Malham Cove was formed by meltwater at the end of the last ice age, when limestone joints and bedding plains were filled with ice, making the limestone impermeable. This landscape is a relic of a past of past climatic conditions. But after days of heavy rain brought to Malham and the Lake District by Storm Desmond, the local hydrological system was saturated. In the Lake District in Cumbria, a month's worth of rain in places over 350 millimetres fell in a single day. Major floods occurred in Cumbria as a result of the heavy December rainfall which saturated surface soils and reduced the ability of the landscape to absorb access water. Saturated systems. Cumbria is the wettest county in England. Its annual rainfall is over 2,000 millimetres. The region's average monthly, monthly rainfall varies from 200 millimetres in the region's winter months to 85 millimetres in the summer. However, within that, places such as Borrowdale receive up to 3,300 millimetres a year. In three years in which severe flooding took place, December 2005, 200 millimetres of rain fell in 36 hours. November 2009, 316 millimetres fell in 24 hours. And in December 2015, 341 millimetres in 24 hours. The short-lived waterfall at Malham and three major flood events across Cumbria, Cumbria were extreme, but they were simply a response to the local hydrological conditions. Over the next few weeks we're going to be looking at the processes at work which define geographical areas known as drainage basins in which hydrological processes operate as a system. Drainage basins are a simple system within the drainage system and work as a black box store where local factors and processes are hidden. Precipitation is the input of water into a local system. The land surface characteristics determine what happens next. Local rock types, the quantity of water and the available energy control the throughput of water through a local store. And evaporation, transpiration and stream flow are outputs of water. Whenever inputs change, there is a knock-on effect throughout the system, upsetting natural balances. And that is the end of the first episode. I know it was super, super short, but that's it. That's all you need to know for that section, A World of Extremes. So please do subscribe, subscribe down below and we'll see you same time, same place next week, Monday, 4.30pm. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.